today we will have a deeper look into Heptabase versus Tana, the two note-taking apps that we really use at the Paperless Movement, in fact, PKM tools, personal knowledge management tools. And after this video, you will understand why we need both in order to be highly productive as a busy professional at work. In order to demonstrate you the reasoning for using both apps, we will use the Icon note-taking framework. So if you're already a member of the Paperless Movement membership, then you're familiar to this already. Went through the digital note-taking like a pro course and there you will get access to the Icon note-taking framework, the description, how to use it and all this. And here it is, that's the Icon note-taking framework. So when we go over here, in another recent video, I talked about the PKM tools that we use and you see this is on the Icon framework. That shows all the tools that you use in your productivity system holistically differentiating between personal and business work and knowledge management and project management, right? So that's all the tools that we use there. And we talked about these three tools, Reader, the Read Later app from Readwise, Tana and Heptabase. So without further ado, let's dive into the icon note-taking framework and lay out the tools there so you will understand perfectly why we need all these tools in combination. Let's go. Paperless movement, your productivity, your way. Okay, first of all, let's quickly go through the icon note-taking framework, what this is all about. You see there are different sections and when you go through the digital note-taking like a pro course, you learn things like the closest to paper experience. These are tools that are giving you the sensation of writing on paper and letting you use your handwriting. Okay, then we have apps that are great for writing and connecting information. So backlinking, referencing, things like that. Notes on third party content. This is actually tools that allow you to quickly collect and capture information from the web, for example, saving blog posts, YouTube videos and things like that. The one that goes beyond are tools that are more than just a note-taking or PKM tool. So for example, ClickUp could be an option there as well as it has a notepad, you have the docs in there to take notes and create knowledge management. We are using it for business knowledge management, not for the personal. So that would be an example here where you have a project manager that actually has note-taking capabilities, but it goes way beyond just note-taking. Then jot things down, that's how quickly you can actually write things up in the tool and how to access it very quickly. And then develop your thinking. That's the deep thinking process that we need tools in that goes again beyond just quickly scribbling something down. So you see there is a tool missing. Let's bring in Apple Notes. So now we have Apple Notes here with us as well. As I said in the previous video, if you go to our website and we go to the tools we use, there you see all the tools that we are using and you see here the utility apps, Apple Notes. Okay, I described this in the other video if you want to check it out. Watch it after this video, I will put the link in the description below. So there I explain exactly why we put these tools into the position in our productivity system as it is and why Apple Notes is not a core application, it's an intermediate note-taking app. But it makes all the sense to have it now on our iCore note-taking framework as well to better understand what this is all about. Let's now start with Heptabase, okay? So let's now try to lay out Heptabase on this iCore framework to better understand how well we can use this tool. The closest to paper, I would say that's not even on this section at all because there's no handwriting that I can use in Heptabase. But writing, connecting information, that's already... Oops, that's very good. So let's put it here. And uh, notes on third party content. I would say even that they added the web clipper, the problem is that there is no proper inbox that I can process easily in Heptabase. It's still not there also on the mobile version to quickly capture something and send content forward into Heptabase. So therefore we will put it here. Okay, so the one that goes beyond also not. It's not like that I'm doing project management or yes, we have some task features in Heptabase, but this is not what it's for. Uh, jotting things down, we have the journaling part in Heptabase, so we could have it here. Again, it takes a bit too long to open it and quickly jot things down. That's the, that's the key about this. That's why I will place it a bit about here. But develop your thinking. Well, this is where we put Heptabase on the strong part as we are loving at the Babylon movement, the visual boards that we have on Heptabase combined with long form 
text content. So this is really powerful using Heptabase for this. So now you already see gaps and this is what this Iconotaking framework is all about. Now we can fill the gaps with other tools. So yes, of course you can use one tool for everything, but we strongly believe and we put it to the test with so many other tools. There's always something that a tool is not specialized in and that makes it then not the solution for the whole map here. So let's say you're into handwriting and you prefer to do handwriting during your meetings and things like that. That's where, for example, Apple Notes or Notability or Good Notes or Remarkable or piece of paper comes into play that you can place here. So the closest to paper experience for me is then here and therefore obviously as a standalone tool in this setup is Apple Notes as none of the others will ever appear there. But Apple Notes, writing, connecting information, well, writing, I can write long form, but it's not so good in exporting the things and using the content further. That's where I think we can still place it here. Notes on third party content. That's where I would say it's a bit stronger as it's easy to share content into Apple Notes. Also the search functionality, I can search images and things like that. So that's something very useful. The thing is, I'm not using it for this purpose as it's not a proper personal knowledge management system. Yes, you can have tags and folders and try to organize the things, but when it comes to leveraging the databases, then Apple Notes is still not there. Then the one that goes beyond, well, that's not there. Jot things down, boom, very uh, powerful. Obviously I can use my iPad, I tap on there and boom, I can start writing and jot things down. There's nothing faster except a piece of paper or maybe the remarkable in order to write things down very quickly. So therefore it, we place it here. Develop thinking. I would say we can place it here as well, because that's again, by drawing things with a pencil, you get a different sensation of your thought process and so on. So sometimes I'm using Apple notes to scribble down some maps or something that I also doing woodworking, for example. So I'm using Apple notes a lot for that. And now with the new calculator feature that is coming to Apple notes, it becomes even stronger in this, but it's not really the deep thinking uh, process where you develop up a thought over time and things like that. That's where Heptabase is very powerful. Well, now you see already we filled the gaps. It, uh, the ultimate goal would be that we have on the outside ring a tool for everything. Okay, now let's go in with Tana. All right, Tana is obviously not close to paper at all, but it allows me to connect information, very powerful. So now we have two tools on the outer ring and there it is where it becomes important then crystal clear to define what information to place in what tool. That's where it's important to watch one of the other videos. I put a link in the description below where we differentiate between deep thinking and shallow thinking and what information, for example, meeting notes I put into Tana versus uh, my key elements and the things that I do self-improvement in and things like that that are evolving maps I do in Heptabase. To me, it's crystal clear whenever some information comes at me to what tool to go to in order to store it. So now notes on third-party content, well, it's not so powerful when it comes to that. Yes, we can embed some YouTube videos. Well, I have another base where I collect videos and video ideas and I will put it in here. Okay, it's definitely stronger in my opinion than uh, Heptabase when it comes to capturing this information as well. So that's why I put it there. Jotting things down, I would say it's in the midfield as obviously you can jot things down very quickly. Let's put it then in the outer ring actually. And again, it's a different purpose. Audio capturing, for example, meeting notes, other things that are very quickly to be done. So you here you really have to think about the friction, okay? How long does it take to open up the app until I'm able to jot things down. As I showed with Apple Notes, it's just a tap on the iPad and I can start writing. While in Tana, I can very quickly open up the Tana capture and start do audio recording or share things directly in Tana. The powerful thing in Tana is then I have an inbox there. So I'm safe and sound. When I go through my routine the next day, I will open up Tana inbox and I will process all the items that I shared during the day or in the evening maybe uh, inside Tana. 
The one that goes beyond, well, we could actually place it in here as well, as this really goes beyond what you can do with a traditional uh, PKM system. Also, heptabase we could place here as well, as, you know, we can create databases based on the super tags or tags that you can use. And that's why we can place it here somewhere. However, we are not going into the project management, as I mentioned already, for Heptabase. Therefore, let's bring in ClickUp, as this is the tool that we use for BKM, Business Knowledge Management. Well, and this obviously goes far beyond. So now you see the outer ring is covered here, here, here. So for each place, we have now a tool. Develop your thinking. I will put Tana about here so I get a better idea. And let's put this a bit down. So now in Tana, it's very powerful to develop your thinking when you start something. So it's an outline, okay? So whenever you have to create an outline, it's so quickly to move things up and down and rearrange the structure of your thought process. It's really fast. But then there's a moment where you then realize it's hitting the ceiling. I cannot further develop my thoughts in Tana, either due to restriction when it comes to formatting, as Tana is just an outliner, so there's no proper long form text formatting, or when you need to think horizontally and not just vertically in a sequential order. So therefore you have to have a whiteboard. And that's when things move into Heptabase. People ask us, but how do you do this then? Do you duplicate all the information from Tana to Heptabase? No, that's the beauty about digital tools nowadays that each individual block actually or node inside Tana has a URL. And I can use this link and place it in Heptabase as a reference and start from this point forward. Okay, so I can always with one click go into the Tana and the other way around in Tana, I can place the link that goes to the Heptabase deep thinking part and then it's connected there. There's no need for duplication. So that also keeps your deep thinking system clean with just refined information versus the shallow thinking system. So now we have all the outers except the nodes on third party content and this is the moment the Relator app comes into play because there's nothing more powerful than using a read later app to quickly capture the FOMO information, the fear of missing out that you saw something that sparks your interest and that you have the feeling that you have to save somewhere, but you don't know and you're scared that you won't find it later on again. That's where we have the shallow, shallow thinking system, if you like, which is reader. This is where I quickly can store my information. I can read blog posts in a distraction free environment. So there's no advertising interrupting me, things like that. I can then highlight, I can then even synchronize the highlights back to Tana and Heptabase. Therefore I get access to the essence that I got out of reading this. The YouTube videos, you see the full transcription. You can click into the transcription. It jumps to the different places in your YouTube video. So that's really amazing. And that's why there's no doubt that this is the tool that we use for notes on third party content. And it is necessary. As you now see by this framework, it was necessary. Otherwise, there's something missing. Okay. And I don't want to move all the things into Tana. This being said, obviously, you could now decide and say, I force the things I only will use Heptabase, for example, but you are at least aware of the limitations of the tools that you consider are limitations. And then it makes it so much easier to go out there and try to find something that fills the gaps. That's what the ICO methodology is all about. It's not about telling you what are the best tools because it would be stupid telling you this without knowing your specific setup. That's something that we help our inner circle members with where we have live coaching sessions, where we look at the tool stack and then we give recommendations how to optimize the tool stack. Usually it's just the tools being needing a new structure in order to work better in a whole productivity system context. But it's about you finding and going out there and searching for tools that close the gaps in your system. So now you see in combination with the i framework, you get a even deeper view on your note taking. And if you really want to master this, I invite you to join the Paperless Movement membership and go through the ICO journey where we show, have two courses in the digital note taking like a pro and the personal knowledge management like a pro course that are both helping you to master this, then moving information into action. And that's what the ICO methodology is all about, that we are not only about knowledge workers and collecting information, but we always 
move information into action and that's the key. And if you really want to figure out how healthy your productivity system is right now, we have a free productivity quiz on our website. So feel free to take the quiz to see what's the status of your setup and get the recommendations how you can further improve it. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so I can catch you up next time.